I have a huge amount of sympathy for uh, I.A. Reed 8255, who says, while the language is less than ideal, and uh, this person is talking about uh, uh, Lee Anderson's uh, expletives, while the language is less than ideal, it reflects what the majority in this country believe. These people are in no position to complain about their treatment after they have been saved from the dreadful consequences of remaining in their own country. Really? Let us be realistic. These immigrants are here because they, because of the benefits they can get and which they are almost certainly not entitled, to which they're almost certainly not entitled. For too long, the UK has been a soft touch. Asylum for those who are in that category is granted to the nearest available country, which does not describe the UK. We need a far more robust uh, response to them. Well, I am uh, I, I'm sympathetic to the view. I think this is not necessarily a majority view. I think one has to be very careful of the algorithm of YouTube and when it directs you to people who are saying the same thing that you believe, and so you end up in a sort of echo chamber. Uh, but equally, the rhetoric which is put out by the government is extremely convincing. And uh, the problem here is that legally the Home Office is on very, very weak ground and morally it's on extremely insecure ground. Tony Blair put forward uh, two, or at least one, one idea that um, we should be having, uh, we, 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 we should have a system where the application for asylum can be made in consulates around the world and uh, we, we should have a sort of humanitarian visa and at least the first stage can be done there. That would also help to spread the load of the Home Office um, and probably mean that we could start to clear that backlog. The other thing I think we can do uh, very reasonably is to give migrants the opportunity to work and to rent their own accommodation. That again takes down the price of uh, paying for hotels. Those three initiatives would make a serious dent in the uh, problem that the Home Office is facing. And the Home Office is therefore only facing this because of Theresa May's hostile environment and Suella Braverman's desperation to cling on to ideology which is extremely uncertain legally and morally. We are still signed up to the 1951 Refugee Convention. I have been saying all along that the that the thing that this government could reasonably do, do to ensure that it's um that it leaves a positive postscript in the history books is to convene an international conference and to begin to redefine the nineteen fifty one refugee convention because it's something that we are going to have to look at look at particularly when the floodgates open um from the conflict in Niger and in the centre of Africa, which will happen within the next year. So we are going to find another surge of migration moving north. And at that point, I think Europe is going to have to decide how to renegotiate that 1951 Refugee Convention. We will then be dragged into that, I suspect. But would it not have been so much better for us to have taken the initiative? And we've been belly aching about this and we insist on going it alone and we insist on testing the limits of international law. It, it is madness. It's like King Canute, whether he actually willed the sea to stop or whether this is simply a metaphorical statement. It doesn't really make very much difference. The idea is that it was impossible. And uh, so, I'm, so I'm really grateful for these points being raised, but I do direct you to Blair. I, and Blair, you may, you may not like Blair, but um, you may not like Chris Bryant, for example. You may think, oh, Bryant is the person who shopped Farage about his uh, Russian connections and receiving money from RT. Well, he's lucky he got paid some money from RT. Uh, I, I don't know anyone else who ever got paid from RT. But... Uh, 
Uh, I, I certainly never, I certainly never got paid properly for teaching in a Russian university. So, uh, congratulations if Mr. Farage might manage to get any money out of that. But um, uh, the, the, the 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 real, and I stopped in 2019. I think uh, was the last time I went over.